This is how most might picture life behind bars. Attention girls, return yourselves for lock-in. But in Clarenville, this is part of it too. Now we have this fabulous new huge greenhouse that we're going to be able to continue our work. That work? Horticultural therapy, using plants and gardening to improve inmates' physical, social and mental well-being. Psychologically it helps them, gives them a sense of purpose and that they're actually accomplishing something. It's a pretty cool modality for people who, um, you know, don't necessarily benefit from traditional treatment. So it's really great for people with mental health issues, addictions issues, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, women have responded wonderfully. They talk about how, how it does benefit them. One of those people is inmate Irene Hutchings. Even though she had no prior gardening experience, she took to the program. After you did your activity, whatever you were doing in the greenhouse, they gave you this card and you get a pencil and you write down like, uh, like what did you get from this experience and stuff. So I used to love write, writing out that, like what I learned in that. Yeah, I'm never too old to learn, <laughs> right? I have to learn a lot, yeah. A program modeled after the Phoenix Garden Project at Her Majesty's Penitentiary in St. John's for male inmates. The charity Stella Circle approached them about doing the same thing for women. I was excited because I see how well it worked at HMP and I was very excited and, and flattered that they even offered to bring it here. Feedback? Positive, especially benefiting those with a mental illness. It clears my head, I'm able to think, I'm able to learn and it's different things like being locked in because when you suffer from bad mental illness, being locked in a lot is not helping. You know what I mean? you got to be out of the fresh air, right? Out doing activities, doing different things. Women just talking about how, how at peace they felt, how calm they felt, how it's helped them be able to kind of, um, you know, tap into a piece of themselves they didn't know that was there. Um, we've seen women kind of helping out each other. With the new, bigger greenhouse now installed in Clarenville, gardening season can soon begin with plants for flowers and vegetables. And while no official date is set yet, there will soon be an official opening ceremony. Henrike Wilhelm, CBC News, Clarenville.